Hello, Sarasota. We are sitting here at the Olive Tree in downtown Sarasota. We're going to talk about a great movie shot right here locally in the Sarasota County area. Hey, dude, man, bro. Have you heard of the Mangrove Slasher? No, man, don't talk about him. He doesn't exist. No, he does. Dude. Movie. First of all, I would like to recognize the name of the movie. Mangrove Slasher 2, as you can see it on his shirt. Where's your shirt? <laughs> yeah, well, my shirt's at home, actually. I hear you. We try uh, to match. Yes, yeah. it's, we look so much alike with the beards as it is right. that people confuse us. So yeah. we exactly. Gotta, we got to distinguish ourselves, that's all. We call each other before just to make sure right. we're not wearing the same. It's tough. Yeah. All right, we're going to start with the social aspect of it uh, with your names, please. Uh, I'm Chris Potter. I'm the director of photography on the project. I'm Sean Heights, the... Uh, Oh, I don't have to get that close. No. The uh, director, creator of uh, this project, yes. Great, what a great project. Now, as we mentioned the name, Mangrove Slasher 2, um, is, was there a 1, why a 2? Uh, no, there actually wasn't a 1, and uh, there's a little bit of a, a story to that and, and a plan that we had. Would you like me to explain it? Please do. I'm sure a lot of people want to know. All right, I'll, I'll take this one. Oh, okay. okay. Um, the idea that we had was that with most 80s style slash movies, the classics, your Friday the 13th, your Nightmare on Elm Streets, the original, though very good, is always about the backstory. But when people are sitting at home at night and they're watching reruns of old horror movies and they see, you know, Friday the 13th 4 or, oh, Jason X, that's a good movie. You know, there's a lot of killing, there's a lot of just ridiculous scenes that I want to watch that. Well, that's what we thought. We, we thought didn't want to waste time going into a backstory. We just wanted to get to the good stuff, the stuff that comes in the sequels afterwards. So we just skipped all that. Yep. Just dove right in. Dove right into it, yeah. And uh, one really cool thing about uh, uh, our slasher, he is actually a bass player in his band. And uh, I met him through my sister. And when I first saw him, I was like, this guy could be a killer. He just had that face. It, I mean... <laughs> And he has been awesome. His name is Ricky Sevick, and he plays the killer or the slasher in the film. Uh, the locations where Mangrove Slasher was shot. Can you explain a little bit about the location, guys? Um, oh, that's this guy. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I found the locations. Uh, we shot uh, Turtle Beach a little bit. Uh, we shot uh, more uh, in. A, we actually shot in a private res residence. Uh, I actually. I, asked uh, this uh, really cool person, uh, Sharon Carroll, if we could shoot. It's on uh, Shell Road, North Shell Road, and she owns this little private beach, and we asked if we could shoot on her property, and just uh, what happened, like, it was just crazy, because she uh, was totally into it. She loves horror movies. She loves uh, Halloween, and she's like, yeah, you can shoot here. So we shot three days on North Shell Road, and it was an incredible turnout. We, uh, we had an open casting call, and uh, it was just, everybody has just been awesome. Uh, it's just been... Uh, uh, so basically, the um, main location was shot at exclusive what, yeah. uh, beach area, kind yes. of. Uh, yes, at the private beach. beach yeah. Private beach. Yeah. Okay. A lot of it was. This guy, right, he's, he's just being modest. He's, he's a really good location scout. He's, he's found places that we actually had to canoe out to with all of our gear. I don't know how he just happened upon these places, but yeah, we had to canoe about a half hour one time with all of our gear out to this island just because it had this really cool secluded sort of lake look with mangroves all around it and a cool river that ran through the mangroves. It's like a man mangrove canopy, like going into, into the mangrove canopy is really creepy, but beautiful, so it kind of messes with you. And we built tons of props, me and my friend uh, Kevin Robertson, to make it really creepy. I mean, we... Because I really want it to be like you're going into like Mangrove County, like Mangrove, uh, where or where this where the Mangrove Slasher lives. You're entering oh, into his yeah. realm, so I really wanted to make it look really cool. And I actually I went to Goodwill and bought like, I mean it was just really strange. I bought like Barbie dolls and you know and, uh, stuffed, animals. stuffed animals and and then I burnt I burnt you know the crap out of them and made them and then I strung them up on this like long like wire. 
So once you're coming in, we, we made these signs that are like arrows going in, and then we have signs that say die, 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 like where are you going? And then you're coming in and you see like this uh, teddy bear hung from a noose. It's like, where the heck are we? You know, <laughs> I thought we were going this way. Like, you know, and they get lost or whatever. So, and then, I mean, yeah, basically. What we really tried to do was showcase what Sarasota had to offer because we knew that with our low budget, with uh, well, pretty much with our low budget and uh, our desire to be in the Sarasota Film Festival, that we had to do something that was going to get you know the town to rally around the project. So we decided one, get as many people from this community as we can involved, and two, shoot almost exclusively in this community so that you know people can come. It's it's easy for them to drive out to where we're shooting. It's easy for them to get involved. So. Um, And there's a lot of beautiful, I mean, Sarasota is an awesome place to live. It's beautiful, but when you're shooting a horror film, which is one of the best kinds of films you can shoot with a low budget, you got to make it kind of sinister, too. So, well, what's what's native to Sarasota and can look sinister? Mangroves. You know, if you're out in a mangrove forest, you imagine it, you know, being alone with a guy with two machetes coming after you. It's it's kind of unnerving, you know? So that's just, we kind of took it and ran with it. Tell us uh, where and when can people see the movie? Well, the premiere, that's thats the night to be there, is, is April 9th at 8.45 p.m. at Hollywood 20. Um, there's going to be a pre-party beforehand right across the street at WTMY, actually. We'll be there just getting people ready for the... They've offered up their studio just for us to set, you know, victims and things like that up. But 8.45, that's not to be there. We're going to have just victims walking around, the slasher, lots of fake blood, strobe lights, things like that. Just really trying to uh, to set that scene. We want it to be kind of like a Hollywood Horror Night sort of scene, you yeah. know, yeah. Just, just getting people into it. And there also is going to be a live remote uh, before uh, from 7 to 8.30 with the cast and crew right outside Hollywood 20 with WTMY Radio. Which they've been totally awesome that you know they would want to you know be part of this, and uh, we're yeah we're excited. So, yeah, I'm I'm sure a lot of viewers are excited to see the movie. I'm sure a lot of people heard about it. As I saw on Facebook, uh, it's been uh, pushed. Um, tell us uh, basically, uh, is there going to be a sequel? We talked about earlier. You did it's do a s- sequel. I know. I mean, any more? What, what's uh, what to expect in the future with the Mangrove Slasher? We already, we already have it. It's a Mangrove Slasher Part Five. Five. Okay, so from two to five. Yeah. Two to five. Yeah. So there's You're, there's no reason. Doing something that different. One. No, yeah. no yeah. reason behind that. It's one. it's an yeah. odd number for one, which we think is really going to kind of change the feel of it. From <laughs> the, no, we just we just kind of pull the number out of the hat, and uh, it, it could change. It could, probably not, yeah. but it could, I guess. But anyways, let's uh, get through this one first. Um, <laughs> tell us uh, how you feel about. Sarasota in general, not exactly being the next Hollywood, but potential in movie making. How do you feel about Sarasota? It, it has a ton of potential. Definitely. I mean, just we didn't quite understand, I guess, how many people were into this industry before before we started this film. I mean, when we first started, we were shooting in a sewer with with three other people, and by the end, we had a crowd of you know fifty to hundred people just there to watch it. You know, and you have Sanborn Studios just coming into the area. We have, I mean, the film festival for one is top notch. Ringling, yeah, Ringling, Ringling School, School of Art, Art is implementing a video film program yep. at their school now. It's it has potential to. Of course, it's not going to be as big as Hollywood. It just can't. It's it's not as big of an area. But can it be more artistic? I certainly believe so. Can it bring film back to its roots? I certainly believe so. Uh, it is, it is, and uh, they're doing, uh, it looks like more uh, a production or a studio in Lakewood Ranch. That's, that's Sanborn, Sanborn Studios, Sanborn yeah. Studios, yeah. 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 Great, yeah. did you get a chance to work with them, or? Not yet, not yeah. hint, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it would definitely be a good contact to have. Um, but another thing that's great about this area is that there's a lot of people that go out to Hollywood, go out to L.A. that just want to get into the scene. But what we have here are a bunch of art schools that are breeding people that are meant for that type of scene. You know, they're, they're meant for working on film or art projects, and they're completely willing because it's just it's, it's connections, you know, and it's, it's networking with people in your own community, sure. and, and that's invaluable. Great. Well, um, 
April 9th, you'll get to see the premiere of The Slasher at Hollywood 20, downtown Sarasota. Any last words for Sarasota? Uh, you know, thanks for being a great town, and uh, you know, sorry we made it look so sinister, but <laughs> it, it can be in those mangroves. Yes, it can. And what we want is, you know, uh, after this project comes out, in the next, you know, 20 years when people are out there and the mangroves are going, watch out, the mangrove slasher might get you. So. Yeah, kind of like Jaws and, and sharks nowadays. People are afraid to go in the water. They're going to be afraid to go in the mangroves. So, so watch killer. out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a killer. That's a good one right there. Being a slasher movie, it's going to be a killer. Okay, well, you've heard it here first, Sarasota. Yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> 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 <laughs>